dear students i am dr j prashant ram so i once again welcome you all for uh, the capsule lab computer aided power system analysis laboratory uh, this is experiment number 2 uh, the virtual laboratory on the experiment title determination of abcd parameters and performance of transmission line uh, using t method in the last lecture we have discussed much on this uh, pi network similarly here we are going to analyze um, the performance of a transmission line in uh, connected in a t network where you are going to evolve uh, the sending end and the sending end current and the sending end voltage using the load side uh, sending end voltage and sending end current Uh, you will be provided with the simple data on the end user side or a customer side or a load side you have to estimate the abcd parameters from your uh, receiving in data from abcd parameters we have to compute the sending in voltage and the sending in current this is how the lecture goes and i request all of you people uh, to go through or to brush up your uh, your formulas for your t method or the fundamentals of your t method uh, from the t and d classes or your power system analysis classes i also invite all the students to be uh, even more uh, uh, even more cautious in evolving the formulas of a b c d parameters these are the two prerequisites the fundamental understanding about t method and the formulas of your a of a b c d and the derivations of your a b c d has to be uh, has to be produced in this experiment so you have to be, you have to go through and you have to brush up your a b c d parameters so let us go into your lecture without any delay the aim of the experiment is going to be the same so you have to theoretically evolve uh, the parameters we have to write the equations for a b c d parameters where this a b c d parameters can be directly computed from your sending end uh, sorry sorry from your receiving end uh, datas of a t network and uh, from your a b c d parameters uh, you have you can you can able to evolve the sending end voltage sending end current sending end power factor and uh, the efficiency and regulation these are all the various parameters that you are going to compute and you are you are going to after you theoretically evolve all these parameters you are going to write them this uh, Simulating MATLAB code to compute all these values. This is how it goes. Yes, these are two uh, important parameters. The fundamental formulas of your T network is very much required, and uh, your uh, very good system that is installed with MATLAB 2009 is was also mandatory. Uh, from any version from 2009 will do good for this particular experiment. Yes, this I have explained to you in the previous laboratory itself. any transmission network or any transmission line which has two ends one is sending end and the other one is receiving end here i will take a color pen i will like to explain once again so that it will be easy for you people to understand here you have a, a particular parameter what you call it as a and c uh, any transmission network any transmission line has a sending end and the receiving end so here we are representing it in terms of two port network where one port is going to be your input the other port is going to be your output in between we can estimate in the two port and it is very very easy to evolve what is the amount of losses that incur uh, that that will that your transmission line will incur that can be easily calculated um, that that is reliable to calculate as well a and c are going to be your uh, uh, a and c are going to be your input ports where a a across ac you will get the sending end potential across bd you will get uh, receiving end potential and similarly you have sending end current as is and you have uh, uh, receiving end current as your ir so this is how it goes and uh, these four terminals the points a b c d is the parameter that we have to look at and we have to evolve these four parameters the basic equation that can be written this is very important equation Uh, this is also once again a derived equation and it has to be referred for uh, your own uh, understanding in tnd section or power system analysis section uh, or the fundamentals can be taken from there vs is equal to a into vr sending end voltage in relation with receiving end voltage and receiving end current similarly you are sending end uh, current in the relation of sending end voltage and send, uh, receiving end voltage and receiving end current this is how Uh, the evaluation of your sending in voltage and sending in current can be calculated now 
these are the formulas as i told you this this is once again a derived formula uh, formula for your a b c and d so this uh, this formulas are derived and it can be taken from your uh, uh, what do you call uh, transmission distribution network uh, these four uh, particular parameters is completely different for a pi network and a t network uh, here for a t network your c is always equal to uh, y and d is always equal to a this d is always equal to a and c is equal to y admittance value uh, y is admittance where it is going to unit is going to be mo z is nothing but your r plus i into x so this unit is going to be your o it's a combination of resistance plus uh, reactance this you this you people already might be aware about it what is the impedance and what is the admittance in the t network let let me go through a basic in t network you have uh, a simple impedance like this it is a simple uh, simple impedance like this and you have an uh, what is it capacitive network something like uh, this kind of an arrangement where um, uh, this is nothing but j term this is nothing but z this is nothing but unsecured impedance so the impedance is going to be divided by 2 since it is connected in 2 they are, you are splitting it into two. It is common divided by two. So this is what I call it as T network. Two impedances connected uh, a, where your uh, simple capacitor is connected in between or commonly divided in between. So this is what you call it as XC, and uh, this is all parameters is what you call it as Z by two and Z by two. Total line uh, this is divided by two times. This is what you call it as typical uh, T network for which you have here you have A, B. C and D parameters. So these parameters you have to evolve, and for these parameters you have the formula. Now let us go into the problem. Is which very simple problem that you already knew it. Uh, as we have discussed in the last class, um, they have given a, a 20 kilometer long. Yes, it is a medium transmission line. It's 20 kilometer three phase. They have given it properly. They have given it as three phase. They have, they have given it as resistance as 20 ohm. R is equal to 20 ohm r is equal to 20 ohm a reactance what they have given the reactance they have given it as 52 ohm they have given reactance as 52 ohm similarly and they have given admittance as 31 j j 315 e to the power of minus 6 they have given it's more unit of admittance is more at an angle of 90 degree here they have not given power factor but whereas they have given what is the angle phi they have given they have not given cos phi but they have given phi as 90 degree so you can calculate cos 90 you can calculate what is the value that will come again now in this particular sum it is they have given directly they have given what is it power true power they have given power is equal to 30 megawatt yes it's very good they have given it as in the earlier sum in the pi network what is it they have given apparent power mba but here they have given true power they again so there is no need of multiplying your power factor because it's already in wattage and they have given it is 30 megawatt of load is connected at a voltage of it is connected which means it is in the receiving side vr is equal to 32 kilo volt and they have given now they have given the power factor what is the power factor cos phi is equal to cos phi is equal to 0.85 so phi can be calculated as cos inverse of 0.85 that will give you a phasor angle it is given as lagging power factor which means current is lagging behind the voltage in the particular transmission line of t connected network by 0.85 uh, power factor this is what it means so what are the given data it is a 20 kilometer transmission line it has resistance of 20 ohm reactance of 52 ohm admittance of j315 e power minus 6 mo receiving in voltage is 32 kilo volt and the transmission line is connected to the load of 30 megawatt with uh, it has a power factor of 0.85 where they are asking us to compute sending in voltage sending in current sending in power factor voltage regulation transmission efficient this is very simple as we have done in the last last uh, laboratory experiment it is just a vice versa i think it is very easy to calculate it is without no delay let us uh, go and uh, calculate the uh, theoretical part of it so now as you knew yes uh, you know that um, you know the what is the formula for your uh, a 
a of you can calculate 1 plus z by 2 b 1 plus z in multiplied by is 1 plus z y by 4 c is y d is a these are all the values that are pre-estimated it can be calculated by just mere substitution and uh, for this particular network you have to always check ad minus bz is equal to 1 and as i have already told you this is a preliminary check this you would have read in a theory theoretical part here you have to always check a values approximately real part magnitude of a is always should be equal to 1 yes it is verified because the value is 0 0.99 there is no major difference and they have given the line voltage how to calculate phase voltage at the receiving end you can calculate divided by root 3 so you can calculate it as 76.21 into 76.21 uh, into kv that you get will directly give your phase R voltage and the IR you can directly calculate it is PR because PR is equal to uh, VR IR cos phi root 3 VR IR cos phi so root 3 VR IR cos phi you can directly calculate uh, this is this just one second a mere substitution so you can calculate this and you can uh, we can calculate the current value as 154.37 minus cos inverse of 0.8 because we don't know the angle so we have to calculate the angle so this angle uh, this will give you IR is equal to um, 132 132.37 uh, 132 81.3 J this is given in the polar form where it is R plus IX form you have evolved your uh, current IR Similarly, you, can, you have got the values, the necessary values. What is the formula for your Vs? You have the formula of Vs as, uh, you have the formula for Vs as A multiplied by V phase into IR. Similarly, V phase divided by R. So, you know what is V phase, you know what is IR. You know, uh, you know what is A, you know what is B. Similarly, here also you know what is C, what is D. So, what are the required the elements that for your calculation? You have got all those things. You can directly estimate you have got the voltage as 8.2 sorry 82 kilovolt as your uh, 82.37 kilovolt as your Vs and uh, 130 ampere as your current value. So this is how we have got uh, sending in voltage and sending in current. Uh, similarly the sending in power factor can be evolved by using this you have to you have to arrive the uh, uh, angular for, for formula of your sending in. So convert this uh, complex term into uh, degree form and you will get an angle. So that angle is nothing but angle of Vs. That is nothing but angle of Vs. Similarly, if you com convert this, you will get angle of uh, Is. So cosine of angle between Vs and Is will give us uh, what is sending in power factor. It's very simple. You can, you can easily evolve it. And the regulation you know, regulation is nothing but percentage regulation is nothing but uh, sending in the, the ratio between sending in voltage to the receiving in phase R voltage that will give you 83, 86, 83.6 is your uh, regulation value. You know what is Vs, we know what is um, receiving in voltage. Vr is here, Vr phase R, Vr phase R is here, and uh, Vs phase R you can directly evolve. And uh, finally, efficiency, efficiency is nothing but power uh, receiving in power divided by sending in power receiving in power can be directly calculated pr is equal to 3 into vr ir cos phi it is very easy to calculate you can calculate as simple as that and uh, finally matlab code this is just a simple code as we have explained uh, earlier uh, in the previous session just to replace your uh, what is that uh, just replace your uh, a b c d values and keep the code similar to your uh, earlier uh, classes so that it is easy for you to evolve the experiment uh, the only difference is you have to uh, you have to change the coding lines of pi network and t network ABCD parameters. Just by changing that you can able to complete this experiment. It is very simple experiment. Whereas the values are only was going to change VR, IR, Y value, X value, and uh, your ABCD formulas. That's it. So with this, uh, the determination of ABCD parameters for a typical uh, T network and uh, evolving the sending in voltage, sending in current efficiency can be um, easily be calculated and it can be programmed into your MATLAB as well. So we will see in the next class, in the next lecture, we will see something that is very interesting about your salient pole and non-salient pole power angle calculation, I mean the synchronous machine power angle calculation. So it is also very simple. Uh, so until um, until we until we meet for next session, I wanted you people to code this in a MATLAB environment and take results for this uh, simulated uh, or take simulative uh, results. Compare the simulate simulation results with the theoretical result. Uh, let us meet uh, in the next class for synchronous salient pole and non-salient pole power angle measurement.
have a short brush up on that silent uh, have an idea about silent core non silent core machine so we'll meet in the next session see you all thank you very much